Are you ready for this? Hello my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is a much requested review on the Smoke Smock X Cube 2. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, so many people have been asking me to review this or its little brother, the mini version, and I wasn't really going to do a review on this only because it has so many bells and whistles, like too many. But I guess there's a vapor out there for every mod, there's a mod out there for every vapor, and this might appeal to somebody, but it literally does so much stuff that I'm still kind of like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> but we will try to get through this anyway, so we'll just start with the basics. It is a 160 watt device. It goes from 6 to 160 but there's also an upgraded firmware that can make it to 180 I don't believe that this one has that because I got this a while ago it also has a temperature control mode but if I'm not mistaken you have to purchase that mode using the app that you can download the smock smoke app for your smartphone and you can also control it and like change settings and all that good stuff from your smartphone app so if that is something you're into then I would definitely check that out but here it comes in the box and it says smock smoke like literally can we just all come to an agreement on how this is supposed to be pronounced because I don't know looks like smoke doesn't have an E on the end why would it be smoke it's vapor but anyways that's beside the point so this thing is ginormous look look at that and it's even heavier to boot oh ow broken fingernail so here's the device itself but we'll go ahead and show you the contents of the box as well under that layer you have the user's manual so much needed like <laughs> you will not survive without this and the USB charging cord for the batteries which I recommend you just charge the batteries on the outside like use an external charging bay because it does take two 18650 batteries and if you're going to use a device that has two 18650 batteries they need to be married in every which way possible milliamp hour voltage output all that good stuff needs to be identical basically buy two of the same exact battery to put in a mod that requires dual 18650 and it also comes with its own little velvet carrying bag that's neat I probably won't be using it though <laughs> all right here is the device itself let's take a close-up look it is already a fingerprint magnet for me there it is this is the front so this bar lights up and this is a fire bar so this whole thing is the fire button here's the side this is the magnetic back there is the battery compartment now oh, this kind of seems wiggly to me here is the OLED screen up top that displays all your functions settings modes and whatnot 510 spring loaded center pin here are your regulatory plus and minus buttons here we have some battery venting holes as well as the micro USB charging port so there's there's that but like why isn't mine this door's like not staying in all the way. This mod is available in, as far as I know, three different colors. This stainless steel color, night black, and matte white. So this is 100 millimeters high, 60 millimeters wide, and 24.5 millimeters right here. And this whole thing weighs 238.6 grams. It is a hefty mod right here. Especially for somebody like me who prefers the mini mods. So as I mentioned before it goes from 6 to 160 watts it, in wattage mode it can go from 0.1 ohm up to 3 ohms. Temperature mode it goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and in temp mode it can vape down to 0 0.06 up to 3 ohm. And the equivalent in Celsius is 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. It has intelligent coil recognition so it can recognize between nickel, titanium, or stainless steel coils. Now I'm reading here that says adjustable temperature coefficient of resistance and adjustable initial resistance are added to enhance accurate temperature control. I really don't even want to get into it. That's why I said I didn't want to look at this. There's just, it does too much. Some of these features may not be available if you don't have the upgraded firmware on it. When you do upgrade the firmware, it can go up to 180 watts. It has a couple of protection features, including short circuit protection, low battery warning, it has a 12 second cutoff, and overheating protection. So after researching like all the functions and features that this thing has, I definitely would not recommend it to a beginning vapor. This is for a well-seasoned vapor who wants all the bells and whistles, and 
Personally, this is not something I would probably choose to vape, only because I don't need all of this stuff, but my channel is for you guys, not just for me to be picky. So let's put some batteries in this thing, get an atomizer on it, I'll show you the screen and the features and the functions, we'll vape it, and yeah. Oh, the things I do for my viewers. Okay, so with two batteries on here, this thing is like a freaking brick. It is solid. So five clicks to the fire bar, which is weird to me. We'll turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. And it says smoke as it, or smock, sets up. It tells you which um, version of the software you have. To go into the menu, you push the fire bar five times. It'll go into the menu mode, and you can switch between your different options. And so, I'll just do close up and show you guys. So here is the main screen. We got the wattage, we got the battery life, the puff counter, the voltage output. It says soft here, and then the atomizer resistance. Now you can make it soft, hard, medium, max, and min. So three clicks to the fire bar gets you in the menu. You can go to the puff counter, you can go to settings, you can turn it off this way. There's the Bluetooth on or off. There's the to switch modes. This changes the LED light, so let's go here because I want it to change. So you can even change the speed of the light. So let's go into settings and you can press and hold the firearm to get in there. You can actually change the time and the date. That is interesting, wow. I am definitely gonna have to play around with this though if you guys want a one month update and I know you guys are gonna want a one month update because this is an extremely popular device even though it's not something I would ever personally vape on my own. I know so many of you are really interested in it. So this is just for my first look review. I will be coming back doing a one month review because I don't even know all the fucking things this thing does. So let's just vape it. We're in soft, which I am led to believe that that just means a soft inhale. Please comment below if I'm wrong because I am like to the point of that I have been trying to get this review done and this mod is just frustrating me because this is the most awkward thing ever. I do not like this fire bar. There, I said it. Well that certainly is not enough power. I want more power. So to change the strength of the draw that you're going to take, you just push the plus and the fire bar at the same time to change. We have normal strength, we have hard strength, we have max strength, we have min strength, and then soft strength. To change the mode really quickly, you can just push the fire bar and the minus button to change the mode from memory mode to temp mode to wattage mode. So we're back to wattage and I'm going to change this to normal strength because I don't know if I vape hard or soft, like what? So we'll just, we'll just go with that for now, you guys. Mm, that flavor though. Okay, something else I'm noticing that I am not liking. And maybe it's just because I'm frustrated right now, but this, it moves. Uh, it's just too much for somebody like me personally. Okay, I might just have to download the app though, because Indoor Smokers, his does the flashy, like, rainbow lights, and mine is not doing that, and I want it to do that, and I can't figure it the fuck out right now. And I finally figured out how to make it through the lights. Woohoo! I'm gonna go close up so you guys can see. That's pretty cool though. So three clicks to the fire bar to get it into the menu mode and then you can go to settings, you hold, you can adjust the screen time, like how long the screen is on, you can adjust the contrast of the screen, like how bright it is, you can change the screen direction, and you can set the date and time. This is probably the most disappointing review video I've ever done in my life, like I don't even want to put it up, but I'm gonna, because y'all been asking for it. I've steered clear to this mod for a reason. Maybe the mini doesn't do as much. Maybe I'd like the mini version because then it won't be so big. Hopefully that's only a single 18651 because I don't like these dual. I don't know why, they just, ugh, they're so heavy. One good thing on the bright side though, this flavor is magnifico. 
So if you like a mod that is adjustable and customizable down to the very last freaking feature, this would probably be for you. But I don't really need that for myself. So I'm leaning like, eh, probably not something I would vape on my own time. I'm going to do it for a one month update for sure and figure this out a lot better. My biggest thing about mods is, does it vape? Does it have protection features? And is it practical? That's what I like to look for mostly in mods. And mods that come with protection features, A-OK -okay in my book. If it vapes when I get it, then it's great. And is it practical? This thing is a beast. Like, it is, like, seriously weighing my hand down. I don't even want to hold it anymore. But that's just, like, the type of vapor I am. Like I said already, I like little mini mods that produce the clouds. You can adjust the initial ohm, which, it, I mean, if you want to do that, you can. That's for better temperature control. So this one does have the temperature control function on it. I didn't download that on it, but it does not go up to 180 watts. So this one would need upgraded firmware to go that high. So if you have this mod, please let me know down in the comments below what your experience is with it, good or bad. Give me some tips or tricks or something because, like I said, this thing has so many bells and whistles that I literally have to come back and do another video for this because I just... <laughs> Uh, I will put a link below if anybody is interested in checking out this mod for themselves and is interested in all the bells and whistles that it comes with. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload videos that are not vaping related. So if you want to check that out, all those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kassad.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. This is not my finest moment. This mod kicked my ass.